everybody, welcome back. So you see that uh, the the voice call is on screen now, so you guys can kind of tell apart who is talking. <laughs> now you can see when Woody does it and when my soundboard is doing it. So you'll notice I'm always lit up, but you know my voice anyway, so that, that doesn't matter. But it's because I'm sending them the game audio over Parsec. And occasionally they light up when they're not talking because it's just picking up weird background noises. But you'll figure out who's who quickly. Um, I just wanted to go over real quick. You know what? There's, there's no danger in this. Let's just jump in. Uh, we needed to figure out what looked best. So we're going to assign these numbers, okay? This is, uh, this is the on-screen call version one. Let me turn this off. That's version two. Oh, it pauses the game when I do that. Hope no one cares about that. That's, oh no. <laughs> okay, version one will be fast. Version two and version, if I turn off the background, version three. What do you, what do you like more comment section? One, two, or three? Y you let me know and we'll do whatever one. For now, we'll just, I guess I'll do that. I don't know. Okay, uh, we, we can't, we can't lose, can we? Like, rock slide. It's gonna poison sting you and you're gonna die. So I changed one of my buttons, by the way. R and L are the buttons and not the triggers now. So I might do that wrong a lot. Oh my God, uh, I won. To weigh in on the whole background, no background thing. We did, Brandon and I can't see which numbers he was toggling, ah. but whichever, personally, whichever one was the one without any background, I personally liked a lot because it didn't seem to like matter that and there wasn't a whole lot to distract the eye i guess yeah so that was number two okay okay i'm between that oh, one wow, and the, wow it lived uh, huh? i'm between that one and the uh the kind of black one so not the actual discord background but the yeah other yeah one. yeah so that's number one which is like a a, a dark square background uh, this is the most interesting conversation we've ever had at the beginning of a Pokemon Stadium video, but what are you going to do? It's, it's Pokeball opening of Anything Goes Cup. Is it safe to say this whole episode is probably going to be the entire Pokeball Cup of Anything Goes? Probably. Uh, we've taken a total of 16 damage. Charmander, yeah. that's a weird fish. That's, that's a weird fish. Did you guys see on Twitter oh, the on. other day? The has what? I... Did did what a geek say? Hold on, and then his Discord died. I think so. That is the greatest timing. Okay, uh, so I'm I'm sure I can dig up the tweet. Someone recently caught a Charmander, named it Weird Fish. They caught it in a net ball in the water in a randomizer, and they screenshot it and they sent it to us on Twitter and it was the greatest thing. I'll probably find that and put it on screen because they deserve credit for that. Um, so, what he did manage to get the uh, transfer pack oh, stuff right. working. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I guess this is the villain cup? I don't know. Uh, so I'm liking Kadabra. Oh, did I change what my B button is too? I shouldn't have done that. I've like Grimact. changed half of my buttons Three. by accident. Uh oh Jesus. Yeah, what's with that? Um There we go. Yeah, we Can just we're right. I'm, I'm on my phone. Oh, now you sound uh -huh. hissy and weird. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome! What, what happened to you? Internet's dead. Um so <laughs> I was going to shout out. He's I was just going gonna... to shout out <laughs> Toxic Light yeah. on Twitter. Because yeah. he tweeted us doing a randomized. Uh, he tweeted at us while he was doing a randomizer. <laughs> he caught a Charmander. Yep. In the, yeah. Yeah, uh, we were just talking in about the that. Water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, netball as well. You have the weirdest sounding phone in the world. This let's play is incredible. Why does your phone sound like such shit? <laughs> well, for one thing, I don't know why. Um, I'm using my Bluetooth headphones. I don't know if I'm being picked up from my phone or from the headphone. You sound distant. Um, okay, so if I tap right here, can you hear that? No. Like, it sounds in... the same. No? Okay, cool. So you are hearing my headphones. Let me do this. Or that at all? No, you still, you still sound horrible. 
<laughs> this is the greatest let's play ever made. Sorry, I, I remapped so many of my buttons and it feels so fucking weird. Why did I do that? <laughs> People at home, if you have a choice between Cox as an internet provider and anyone else, don't pick Cox. I'm sorry. Cox? I'm sorry. <laughs> you have an internet provider called Cox? <laughs> yes, C O X. It is literally, literally dicks. Oh my God, everybody! You turned, you tuned in for the worst episode. Uh, hey everybody, <laughs> welcome this to- This isn't the worst episode from Pokemon Platinum though, mind you. No, it's not. <laughs> I wonder if people are gonna even be able to hear you properly, because you're on the same audio track as Brandon. Oh well. Holy shit. Oh my- Oh god, I forgot Disable is like a weird string coming out of its nose. What the fuck? That's gross. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to get creative with interpreting like Pokemon moves, I never thought Disable would be a yellow string coming out of your nose, believe it or not. So, uh, if anyone wants to skip this episode, I don't blame you because I don't think anything's gonna be putting up a fight. <laughs> no, just answer the com just comment the thing at the beginning, yeah, and then and then skip the episode because there's a whole playlist, you can just skip to the next one. What a geek is currently dying to Cox. Uh, our opponents are dying to basic offense. It's it really is incredible your phone, by the way, how it's got like a hissing noise coming out of the right ear when you talk. I don't know what that part's all about. I don't understand, honestly. So your whole internet is down. Uh, it, it flickers on and off. I mentioned in the group chat. We had. Ah, okay. I forgot we had to resort well, to thunder. Let me see. It's currently working. It's currently working. Let me see if I can connect that. Here. All right. Uh, right. So what we were talking about before, though, as what geek was trying to repair everything, is that what geek and I did manage to get the transfer pack going, which means there that we. Go. Um, I was just saying that we got the transfer transfer pack thing working, and it was actually fairly easy. So what geek's actually been basically breeding us some Pokemon to use for the Master Ball Cup. Uh, we've got a bunch of level 52s. Uh, what was the team you threw together again? So I had um, the three starters, Charizard, mm -hmm. Venusaur, Bl Blastoise. I got a Prime. I was using a Primate for most of it. It might not be that good, though. Uh, a Sand Slash, which I caught in Cerulean Cave at level 52. Uh, I had a Jolteon. And the last one is failing me right now. Oh, Hypno. Okay. Um, that seems like a fa fairly solid team that'll probably get us really far. I'm sure that's enough at least for Master Ball Cup. I don't know if it's enough for round two, because I think, if I remember right, round two is real ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So we might need to workshop the team at that point. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty confident that we'd be able to at least get through Master Ball Cup of both of these. I could probably rock the, um, like a different save of like red version to uh, get some better ice types, for example, like Jinx, because Jinx isn't available mm, in yellow. Um, yeah. And maybe like the legendaries or what have you. Yeah, that's true. Another thing I could do too is I could boot up uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, or you could even boot up Pokemon Stadium 2. Use it and to transfer And download Project things. 64? <laughs> no, you could, you could do some weird shit with that. Uh, you could use Pokemon Stadium 2, take a Gen 2 Magnemite, put it in Pokemon... No, it's put it on Pokemon Stadium 1. That was it. Put a Gen 2 Cube uh, Magnemite into either... I think it was either Pokemon Stadium 1 or transfer to one of the first games from Pokemon Stadium 2, and it will become fire type, fire and electric. You can do some <laughs> weird shit with that. You any uh any steel type that exists or any um yeah steel type that existed in Gen One, but obviously wasn't steel in Gen One. If you transfer it to a Gen One game from Pokemon Stadium One or Two, I forget which one, it'll become the steel type will become Fire type. So basically, just Magnemite or Magneton. I think it's just Magnemite and Magneton, yeah. But you can do mm. flamethrower with it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you know. Uh, anyway, um, Kadabra. Sorry, I keep clicking the wrong buttons. I forgot that I remapped everything. Why did I do that? 
Uh, Cadabra. Jinx, maybe. Jinx. And Victory Bell. Victory Bell, yeah, sure. This, we'll probably just make a long episode and do the entire Pokeball Cup, because I don't think they're going to put up a fight. I don't think so either. I kind of get the feeling that anything goes Poke Cup is probably the single easiest cup in the game. Maybe, like, if it counts, like, round one of, of uh, Gym Leader Tower is probably easier. Ooh, good music. I'm trying to recognize it right now. Me too. It's it sounds familiar. It's familiar, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what is it a remix of, if anything. Because I think it is a remix of something. I could probably just psychic the whole team, couldn't I? What now? Oh! You can hear it there. It's just a remix of the trainer battle theme. Like heavily. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's just a very heavy remix, okay. They basically used that one section and then changed mostly yeah. everything else. They like oh no, it's Mank! The section. The remaining Pokemon well, I uh... I don't like that it sounds like a monkey like that much and doesn't have a mouth. I never thought about that. Oh, uh, now I don't like that either. Why would you bring that up? <laughs> There's something weird about that. I don't like Mankey. It's a like stupid Pokemon. I like Mankey. I always used Mankey in yellow. Never once did I have a Mankey on my team. Wow. I, the thing I loved about Pokemon Snap is that you get to hit that fucking Mankey with the <laughs> with well, the, the shell. The pester what, ball? What fighting yeah. types do you like then in Gen 1? I like Machamp. Machamp is pretty cool. He's like my fighting type. That is a sinister looking gambler. That's one incredible Amish beard he's got going there. Yeah, his his beard doesn't actually look like it's attached to his face. Jolteon for most of uh, these. Yeah. And Victory Jolteon, Bell for the others. Jolteon, Kadabra, Victory Bell. Okay. I'm noticing a lot of that. A lot of that team going on. I might need to remap some of these fucking controls. Where I put the B button is confusing me. It's weird, because it's where I have the B button for like... GBA games, but it's not where I have the B button on N64, and I don't know why. Something about it's messing with my head. I also hit the trigger instead of the button every single time. But, uh, no, I actually have to switch this. Wow. Wrong button. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, it's I keep hitting all the wrong buttons now. Uh, because I, I don't like having the triggers as L and R because of the minigames, the Sandshrew thing. It's really hard to do that if you do triggers. But then I need to use the buttons in this, and I just keep forgetting to do that. It's metronoming. I'm not concerned. Oh, because he's a gambler. So he's using metronome. I get it. Metronomed it. tail whip. Yeah, with no tail. Mm. Oh, hey, it's another new song. Is, like, every is battle of anything Ghost Cup going to be a new song? This is the wild Pokemon battle theme, yeah. isn't it? I think so. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. I remember this song while failing to catch things as a child. Because I, you know, I play it on mute nowadays. I'm not concerned. You don't listen to the amazing music every time you play? I'd go insane. I would go insane listening to the music every time. I love the music, <laughs> but oh my god, like the amount of Pokemon I play. You know, it's times like this that I wish Project 64 had a speed up button. Because, like, I don't think there's any danger for a long time. Oh, no, time. it's else. else. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, right when I was saying there's no danger, we're fucked. Maybe he'll crit Blizzard. No, it's gonna use Metronome if it even lives. Oh, ooh, that was something I didn't it like did. either. It's done. I don't want to ever see inside the top of this victory belt ever again. Because inside the top of the victory belt, you see its eyes clipping through? Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. That's gross and weird.
There's something Banjo-Kazooie about the eyes on Victory Bell. It looks like they should pop off when you hit him, you know, when you barrel roll into him. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so you're saying he looks like an inanimate object that they just stapled yeah. eyes on. <laughs> that they stapled eyes on, and when you hit him, the there eyes fly off, because that's what they do in Banjo. Ah. The female reputation right there. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to get that joke. <laughs> if you want to understand that joke, join my dry bread's Discord server. Join my Discord server and hunt through every conversation that's ever happened, and eventually you'll find female reputation, which is the funniest typo I've ever seen. They can just use the search feature in the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah you can do that, too. Search female reputation. You know, a lot of people say, uh, when, when I bring up I have a Discord on, like, stream stuff, people always go like, Oh, you have a Discord? Yeah, it's in the description of all my videos. No one ever reads the descriptions. I don't no, know. Don't. It's just, it's like, I'm the only one who does it, because people put interesting stuff in descriptions. Yeah, read the description. I got, like, links to everything you could possibly be interested in. Including a link to the Pokemon Red and Blue randomizer that my dry bread and I are currently still working on for some reason. Yeah. It's, it's taken us forever. We've been really busy. For some reason. Yeah. For, for some reason. We've been for working on it for so long. Still, still for some for reason. Some, still <laughs> for some reason. Uh, like it could have been over way sooner. I'll Jolteon just on the off chance that he has confusion. Is this another new remix of the Wild Battle theme or is this the same one as before? I don't remember. I don't remember either. I'll have to listen to yeah. more of it. I'll figure it out in editing. A decent hit. God, I'm starting to wonder if I should have just off-screened this. This whole cup, no, like... No, we, we can't off-screen any of the cups. We yeah, gotta show everything. you're right. It's just... These are rentals, and we're mopping the floor with them. <laughs> I forgot I he pile drives himself. I think this is the same remix. I think you're right. Oh, I thought that was the last Pokemon. Fuck. <laughs> Squirtance. Squirtance. <laughs> His face seems a little flat, doesn't Squished. it? Yeah. Every it's, time I think someone any... mega punched him. It's pretty good, but it's not quite right. All of the old 3D representations of Squirtle look fucked up. Uh, I thought he looked okay in Pokemon Snap. But I guess I never got a close-up look at him in Snap, did I? I'm not sure. Alright, how many are left? That was like fifth trainer? Yep, just three more. Okay, are we gonna have a, a clean sweep of never losing a Pokemon? Yep. Have we gone below green health? No? No. Nope. Okay, this must be the oh, intended Faulkner. first cup. Like, oh yeah, he's... <laughs> Looking real jank, that picture. <laughs> okay, I'm liking electricity right now. I like Kadabra because he's a Kadabra. And Let's go with Jinx because uh, she has ice sure. and psychic. Sure, Jinx. Jinx is good. Jinx isn't going to hit the battlefield. Yeah, Jolteon will sweep it probably. It, if he always hits. Yeah, as long as we hit Thunder here, we'll probably just kill god it's huge it's fucking big <laughs> that is so much bigger than i ever thought ghastly was growing up that is fucking terrifying Could reinforcing the idea that he's actually just a dead coughing that went yeah that went boom could you imagine a um in pokemon sword and shield if they were actually these sizes Waylord would take up a lot of space. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ghastly would be huge. Like that that area that's normally all ghosts, there would just be ghastlies like fuck everywhere. I it, is the whole ghastly line in Sword and Shield? Yes. Yep. Are they this big in the wild? No. Nope. No. Okay. They're much smaller. Okay, I figured they had had to scale them down because that's fucking huge. Like Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Yeah, cause they're they're in that game because they have a a Gigantamax. Yeah. I like Ghastly. It reminds you of like a carnival of uh, walking through one of those spooky tents. I know Ghastly is just a ball with gas in a face, but I like it. My favorite of the line is Haunter. And that's just like a triangle with hands. Yeah, my favorite's Haunter as well. I like Gengar, but I like Haunter more. 
Yeah. Come on. Come on. Okay. It was only two shots, but his defense is also really bad. Ah. Oh, you have Thunder Wave on Jolteon, right? Um, uh, I don't recall. Oh, the one I have has Thunder Wave. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to using that fucking thing because Thunder Wave is nice in these games. Psywave, good luck on the gamble. Oh, look, it's an Earthbound background. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's actually really close to an Earthbound background. Come on, get the kill. Do at least three. Okay, we win. Right? Yeah. Yep. Abrash is dead. Is that the last one? No. Nope. <laughs> Bird Boy! Uses Abrash. Okay. Zubash! Did he use a bird? Uh, I have already forgotten his first Pokemon. It was Ghastly. <laughs> so no, he hasn't used a bird. He's used a bat. Bird Boy isn't using any birds. <laughs> it's the psych out. He makes you think that you need electricity. Come on, please hit. Okay. I'm God. impressed that you managed to hit an inaccurate move while confused and paralyzed. I know, right? I've actually only missed one thunder so far. I thought it'd be more. I love how low quality well, the announcer voices. <laughs> I love We it. could do better announcer voices. Yeah, it's almost as if we have modern technology and we're not stuck on a Nintendo 64 cart. Yeah. It's almost like that, but it isn't. I've got some friends who are voice actors. Maybe I can pester <laughs> them into doing voiceovers for it. The lab That's bold man. of you to assume we're friends. Tangela looks bad. What? Gelatan! I hate when they do this cool, cool Tenta. <laughs> uh, John Tenta was cool. I'm gonna go... Jinx, Jinx looks good for all a lot of these. Yeah, Jinx, Kadabra, because it's a Kadabra, and, uh, I don't know, Charizard. Sure, whatever. It won't get that far. <laughs> Not even close. Semi-finals, everybody! We are 22 minutes in! Not a full episode yet! Okay, alright. I'm, I'm just excited for next episode when we, uh... When we show off what the Team What a Geek made is going to be like. Team What a Geek? Yeah. Team What a Geek. Team What a Geek. Well, I took them down on the word go. Did you hear? Tangela might be the first gen Pokemon I forget exists the most often. Tangela? I like Tangela as a, from a design standpoint, but it's fairly crap. Like Gen I'll 1, psychic. all the Pokemon, and some people are like, remember Tangle? I'm like, oh shit, yeah, that was a Pokemon. There's a lot of Pokemon I forget. That's not one of them. I find there's a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon I forget, which is funny, because I actually really like Gen 2, and I like a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon. Nice! The game won't throw them any kind of bone. They can't even hit that. Uh... I gotta say that after Gen 3, I start forgetting Pokemon. Like, it's like every other Pokemon I don't know. Yeah, I'm bad about that. Um, I'm. Do either of you remember Finneon from Gen 4? Yes. I, I run into it a lot, actually. It's usually Fair my enough. surfing Pokemon. I don't even know what yeah. that is. Oh, it's Fair not because I like the Pokemon, I'll point out. Like, no, yeah, it's because you've seen it enough. It's because when I need to get Surf... The route that you need to surf on when you fish there, you get Finneon. And so it's the most convenient one to get when I end up with surf. How about so. Cherim? I remember Cherim. I, it's a yep. mandatory fight in the grass gym. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, no, you're thinking of Cherubi, aren't you? Oh, am I? I was thinking of the... The, the two cherries? Yeah, I was thinking of the cherries. Yeah, that's no, Cher Cherubi. Cherim's Cherim is a devil thing. Issue. The leaf thing? It has two different forms. One of them is like a purple leaf on top of a a uh, like a green stalk of some kind. And then when it's sunny out, it blossoms into like pink Sakura um Sakura petals on top of a really happy looking face. I don't remember that one. What gen? Uh gen four. four. Oh, the I, evolution I... of Cherubi. Oh, okay. I've probably seen it. I don't remember it though. 
Uh, right. I, uh, what, what am I taking here? I like Sand Slash. Victory Bell isn't bad. Sand Slash, not bad. Sand Slash, Victory Bell, Kadabra. Kadabra. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, there's at least one Pokemon from every gen that I, that I will always forget, though. So Me too. Um, as soon as it gets to Gen 4, there is a lot that I start yeah. to forget. Um, even though I, I've completed the National decks in that, so I do know all the Pokemon. Like, I've run into them before, but there's ones I forget. Uh, I guess I'll just dig. Yeah. Yeah. No uh, real need to switch. Madrai won't understand this one, but I think Brandon will. Um... A while ago, like a few weeks ago, I forgot that Go Goat existed. I don't know what the or fuck Go -Goat. a Go Goat is, but that's a Sorry, great not, name. Not not Go Goat, but it's pre-evolution Skiddo. I didn't remember what it was called. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a guess. I'm gonna guess that's Gen Six, and I'm gonna guess that the gimmick is that it's a scapegoat. Yeah, pretty much. Holy shit! See this? Someone hire me. I'm a genius. I've never heard of this Pokemon before, and I'm like, oh, a scapegoat Pokemon would be cool. What type is it? What was his name again? Go Goat? Go Goat, yeah. and it's pre evolution Skiddo. I was gonna guess normal, but if you're asking, it's not normal. Uh, it is not normal. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually just a fake Pokemon gamer girl. Skiddo? Skiddo makes me think skidding across water, which makes me think um, water, but that that's just because I'm from Dunville and. I'm from the countryside. That's probably not what a Japanese man would be thinking. Uh, okay, so if Skiddo is water type, what type is Go Goat? Water? I don't know. Electric? Because it has the word go in it? So they're both grass type. Okay. Why? Because they're goats and they eat grass? I guess. God fucking damn it. Are you kidding me? That was bullshit. Yeah, Go Goat will be one of those Pokemon that I don't forget, mostly just because of Smash. Yeah, yeah, it's in Smash as a Pokeball Pokemon. Oh, okay. So I've never <laughs> I just run forgot into about it. Skiddo. For people who don't know, uh, people ask about this a lot. I've never played Gen 6. It's the only gen that I have literally not played it, it in any way. I plan on Let's Playing it on the show at some point, but I just haven't played it yet. I, I never got around to it. I didn't have a 3DS when it was new. Well, <sighs> fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This battle is so obnoxious. Well, it is the finals, right? It's so... It's just screeching over and over. Screeching and confusing. You could try Rock Slide. Just I to could. make it flinch. Maybe. Okay, yeah, you keep doing that. Keep annoying my audience. Lickistore? Lickistore. Lickitung is a weirdly common Pokemon in Stadium, considering it's not at all a common Pokemon in Pokemon. Like, in the actual games, you don't run into Lickitung very often. That's a rare one. Yeah, Lickitung is... Uh, I'm trying to think. He was more common in Platinum because of Lick Licky Licky, but yeah. other than that, he was only a trade in Gen 1. Gen 2, He, I don't think he was around to be caught. I think you could catch him in Gen 2, but I'm pressed to remember Oh, you could catch him outside of the power plant in Gen 2. The grass outside the power plant. Right. Why he's there, I don't know. I always thought it was kind of weird. It was one Didn't of those things trainer, like Tangela. Didn't the trainer outside the power plant in Gen 1 have Lickitung? Oh, you know what? That's probably why. Yeah, you're correct. The trainer outside the... Power Plant was the only trainer in the game, I think, that had a, a Licky Tongue. That's <laughs> so stupid. I th always thought that was kind of cool that uh, some of the Pokemon, like, even with trainers, are so rare. So it's hard to get it in your Pokédex to then decide, uh, you know, you want to go catch it and try and figure out where it is. I'll just Victory Bell. I mean, yeah, maybe he's using Dig and it'll hurt. Pokemon? Because then, yeah, it's like if Lickitung is your favorite Pokemon in Gen 1, because then you could never nickname your own Lickitung. You'd only ever have Mark the Lickitung. <laughs> it's like Mr. Mime, you know? Okay, I like that it has its own animation for that. They they put some effort in there. They put effort into all of these. Yeah. It's tiny. Victory Bell is so big in comparison. I th Now, we say they put a lot of effort into all of these. 
Not quite all of them. That dig animation was awesome. Sand Slash? He spins. Yeah. Yeah. So this this whole cup has been first form, right? Yeah. Okay. Or or single form. Okay. Because I'm not acting like we're the best people ever here. I'm fairly sure this is the easiest cup, like in the whole game. It must be. At least this difficulty of the cup. Uh, do I want to? I should just switch back to Sand Slash for safety, I guess. I want to just. I want the bragging right of getting a continue on every fight of the whole cup. I don't know if you can I mean, it's gonna right probably confuse you here. Mm, that, or it's gonna try maybe. Thunder Wave. Okay. Mm. It's not gonna work because it's electric, yeah. but. So, Ground types flat out couldn't get paralyzed until Gen 3, right? Or was no, there. No, because um, Stun Spore existed. Oh, yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. And Dragon Breath, too. Mm hmm. Uh, well, Dragon Breath was Gen 2, right? Yes, it was. Because the only dragon Gen... move in here was Dragon Rage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's fine. We'll be fine. It's not gonna do shit anyway because yeah. it's low attack. I gotta say they're did they're getting a lot of mileage of how Swift can be used when you're underground or in the air in this game. We'll have to try and remember that that can't be done in Pokemon Stadium too. But Thunder, I think, will hit a flying Pokemon, and Earthquake will hit a digging Pokemon. I'm fairly confident Earthquake will hit a digging Pokemon. I'm not 100% about Thunder. Because I know it works in later games. I'm... Uh, yeah, I don't know if the Thunder thing was Gen 2 or Gen 3. I really don't know. You might need to Google that one. Yay! 32 minutes, and uh, we beat the whole cup. So... Here's the Earth badge, a <laughs> feather. Yeah, I never got that. I don't know what, the, what that's all about. I always thought it was a leaf. Is it? I thought it was a feather. I thought it, that's what I thought it looked like. Yeah, it always looks like a feather. Just because the fact that it has like little um, like lines that go up the sides. Yeah. Made it look more like a feather to me. A leaf would make more sense, but you'd still think that would be grass gym, not ground, you know? Yeah, and rainbow would go to, I guess, the... Um, I want to see if I made this work. The marsh badge. So you see that big old game pack none on the left there? Yeah. Yeah, that means sure. I gotta that means that I need to restart the emulator again because it, it doesn't know that I have everything loaded up because uh, it's the worst thing in the universe. Mm -hmm. On the next episode, everybody, you get to see Professor Oak's lab where we get to check out that team that what a geek threw together for us. And if we're liking it, we'll just jump right into the master ball cup of the, the pokey cup pokey yes is that what they call it i don't know well yeah so the, po we'll the pokey we're, cup we're master jumping ball. on to the difficult thing <laughs> yeah until next time have a nice day see ya